For more than 30 years, the Detroit Music Awards have honored local artists from Eminem to Kid Rock, working both here at home and across the country. The 32nd annual event will take place this Sunday, beginning at 630. Award recipients will be announced in 50 categories. They're voted on by qualified members of Detroit's music community. The event will feature several live performances from the Detroit Youth Choir to the Steely Dan Tribute Band, Major Dudes. Joining us now to talk about everything about the event is music journalist Gary Graff. Gary, thank you so much for joining us Thanks. tonight. Thanks for and so me. how is this year's award show different than ones in the past? Well, the last three years we've been virtual, you know, completely online, which we had to do for obvious reasons. This year we are hybriding it. We're returning it to a live event at the Imagine Royal Oak Theater, and we're gonna do the red carpets, we're gonna, you know, and then but we are still keeping the virtual show the actual ceremony itself is filmed and packaged together and the reason for that is we found that when we did go virtual we increased the audience globally sure i mean exponentially and we really found out what a great brand detroit music is i mean somebody in australia hears the words detroit music and they say i want some of that so we're trying to find out a way to keep that component of it because our mission is to expose Detroit music to as broad an audience as possible. So if we can take it to the rest of the world, great, and if we can throw a great party here in town, again, more is the better. We know some of the famous ones. Look, Madonna's from here, Kid Rock, Eminem mm -hmm. are from here. Bob and Seger, Alice Cooper. Sure, then there's so many in between. Can you tell us who's performing, who we can see, if we're going to go down to the show, if we're going to watch from home, things like that? This year, um, this year we have I Prevail, you know, hard rock band that's really happening. Uh, right now, uh, Rock Spell, you mentioned, that's featuring the Detroit Youth Choir, uh, Laura Rain and the Caesars, uh, the Renfields, a band that's celebrating its 30th anniversary. This year, we have Bugs Beto and the Good Stuff, the Chris Canis Band, Louie Lee, uh, Major Dudes, the Steely Dan Tribute Band, uh, the premiere of Electric, Electric Olsen, which features Kenny Olsen, who was part of Kid Rock's band originally. Uh, we have the uh, Ryan Scott and Drew Verde, the rappers, and that's presented by Basement Sounds. And as always, we'll have a few surprises. Of course, gotta love the surprises. For someone, let's say at home, that doesn't know much about the Music Awards, What's the history? I mean, there's so much great history, of course, in the city with musicians right. and music, but these awards in particular. This is the 32nd year, and we started uh, coordinating them 35 years ago, back in 1989. And for the, the great part of the awards history, we were at the Fillmore Detroit. And as we said, you know, the pandemic hit. We, in less than a month, we put together a virtual show. And the past three years, we've been virtual, but we've had a we've had a great deal of fun. We put the Amboy Dukes together, okay. which some of the older viewers will remember. Uh, we had a, their reunion, the Grand Funk Railroad reunion took place on stage. We've had Eminem, we've had Kid Rock, uh, Betty Lovett. You know, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of artists that people don't necessarily know are from Detroit, and we've been able to kind of bring them back home and put them on stage and, and honor them in either with awards in particular categories or lifetime achievement type awards. I'm gonna put you on the spot, your favorite live performance you've seen at one of the awards. At one of the award shows, boy, I, I do remember we had, well, I'd have to go back to that Amboy Dukes for starters, okay. um, because they hadn't played together in 40 odd years and we had them together on stage. A Grand Funk Railroad performing a cappella. Okay. Yeah, no instruments. And then we did have a very early Kid Rock performance. Uh, one of the first with Joe C. Before he essentially is right, Kid he Rock. Right. He was right on the cusp of it. Okay. And, and we had that. So th those are some. Of the, those are three that stand out. But you know, it, it is like choosing the proverbial children. We've had hundreds at this point. And, yeah. You know. It's, it's, really, it's really hard to single too many of them out. Well, we know the famous ones, but there's so many others that have amazing stories that are working just as hard. And you talked about Kid Rock just being right there before right. he became and really blew up. But, but, but those musicians that are making a living, working, that are making great music, they just haven't hit stardom. Right. And it's tough. You know, what we're seeing now is more and more musicians who are comfortable becoming working musicians. They won't be number one on Billboard. They won't be on the cover of the Rolling Stone. They're not gonna, they're not gonna sell out Little Caesars Arena, but they're making a living and they're able to perform live and they're able to release their music. 
And, and what does that look? What does that look like for a musician? You may have a bunch of them here at the award shows. Oh yeah. Um, what does that look like for a musician? Where they're performing, how they're traveling, yeah. compared to what we would expect from sure. a make, mega star flying private and things like that. Yeah, they're in a beat up van. They're not in a Learjet. Uh, they're playing at smaller clubs and they have to change maybe in, in the aforementioned beat up van instead of in a luxurious dressing room. But they love their music and that's all they want to do. You know, as I talk to other stars, established stars even at the level. They've all a, been there right. and they just, they happen to hit it. Right. Um, and, and, and maybe they, they all have the talent, it's just they got that break. They got the break but they still remember those days of being in the clubs and being in the grungy dressing rooms and they, they remember them with affection and it's easy, it's easy of course to remember it with affection when you are traveling by Learjet. But I think the thing that unites all of the musicians we're talking about is what they want to do most in the world is make, make music, write songs, perform for audiences by any means possible. And I think you're seeing, and the, you know, the internet, streaming music has allowed more and more, more musicians to do that and to make their living making music. We're talking about the Detroit Music Show Awards coming up and tell us how we can watch the event. Uh, we're working on how you can watch the event. Uh, you know, full disclosure, the streaming service that we, we used last year decided it was going out of business. Oh boy. So we are going, but we are going to be announcing a streaming partnership very soon and I wish I could be telling you that right now, but 6.30 Sunday night, April 23rd at the Imagine Theaters in Royal Oak. That is the place. That's the to watch, watch party. It. That's the watch for the viewing party. Come walk the red carpet, meet musicians uh, who are there. It's a limited attendance this year, but this is the start of a pilot program that I think we're going to be able to build and make something even greater out of. And if you can sort out this streaming situation, which we will. Okay, I, so I think, where, where at some point should they check on the website or check at DetroitMusicAwards.net? You can get tickets for the live show. Uh, there and we will have all the updates and as soon as we have the streaming partnership sorted out as you can imagine we've been not panicking but scrambling let's put it that way um, and we will we're very confident that we will have something to announce within days that's life right just it roll, is, no, roll, it is, roll, roll with listen, the punches it, it takes us back to when we uh, when we had to pivot to a digital show we had sure. less than a month to do it in 2020 sure and we pulled it off so we'll pull it off again it's 32 years of this we kind of know what we're doing all right well best of luck with the award show more than 30 years of Detroit Music Awards have honored local artist Gary Graff thank you so much for joining us when thank we come you. back Ahmed's back with a look at your forecast plus a look at the headlines from across the country